Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Ninza, shall we? This is the demo of a game that's constantly evolving, and it looks like a hilarious, action, frantic, energy kind of game, and I'm really excited to take a look at it. So we're just going to start up a brand new game. Oh my goodness. Look at the cool art style. By the way, the music is sweet. All right, so... Uh, we can go to the temple. It's telling me that there's a bad uh, a shop, but I have no currency. So let's just check out the temple. What's this? Uh, challenges. Choose your challengers or challenges and earn rewards once they're completed. Yeah, let's do these challenges and complete fundamental tutorials in the training section. Yep, need to do that. So looks like the only character I can be is Tobias, uh, who looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle kind of, which is awesome. So let's go for it. Tobias. And I'm going to say, confirm selection. Let's fight. Let's fight indeed. So after selecting that, I'm going to go check out training. And, okay, cool. Here's a tutorial. How to play. Uh, moving. So I can move left and right. By the way, I'm using a controller to play. It just seemed like it was appropriate. Uh, and special moves are A plus movement or... X is attack. Okay. Um, I can attack... Oh, there's combos and stuff. Yeah, I, I saw in the promotional material about the game that basically everything in the environment can be, like, hit and knocked around. So this almost feels like a Smash Brothers type of game. Um, killed by expulsion. Attack aiming. Cooldown. Okay. Charging into hyper attacks. Wow. Alright, hilarious. Um, okay, let's go back, and let's see about the guide. Learn more about how to play each character. Discover their special abilities and how to get the best of it. Alright, so Tobias, who I've selected at, at the temple, uh, has two attack, three movement, and two defense. And, uh, looks like they have a double jump. They can do a wall grab. They can dash, hyper dash. Ooh, boy, I'm gonna have to see about that. Um infinite jumps that seems pretty good all right and let's put it into practice with the tutorial so let's learn the fundamentals and let's go ahead and boot it up tobias, tobias blooming ecosystem i'm gonna go blue i'm ready all right go so i could double jump <laughs> oh cool okay Oh my goodness. All right. Um, I'm up here. Yeah, it is like a Smash Brothers. Look at that sheep. Oh my god, I jumped. So when I attack, I move forward. I move through that thing. Oh, this is hilarious. So the game is a side-scroller, though. So the level is moving. Now, I can hold X to, like, charge up in the air. And just, I hover until I want to let go and I do that Super Smash, which is pretty sweet. Um, I can just... I can double jump for sure. I can move these bl uh, blocks around. I wonder... Can I... I don't appear to be able to hurt this sheep unless I maybe knock a block into it. But it's not easy to do that. I can actually charge up, though. I can, uh, kind of... If I use my attack and charge, I can jump upward if I want. Alright. Mm, let's see if I can kill this guy with maybe this block right here. No. That sheep is unkillable. Oh my, look at that ice block move around. All right, so that's the cloud block. I got him. Okay, he's not unkillable. He's very killable. I just have to get better at figuring it out. So these enemies actually don't do any damage to me. Got, I got one. There we go. Missed him. 
All right, I'm just going to... Oh, my God, I killed myself. Okay, so that's possible. I got respawned, though. Great. Hilarious. Okay, I got... I can't kill the bat. Very easily, anyway. The sheep crushed it. Bat... Not want to die as much. I killed myself again. I'm terrible. No, they're not coming back anymore. Okay. So the top and the bottom boundary of the level can be uh, used to your advantage, like, as extra space. Oh, boy. That didn't work. <laughs> I died. I killed one. I killed one. I'm happy about that. Come on through. Yes, there we go. I finally got a bat. They're just nimble. They're just hard to get. All right, got the sheep. That rock, you can't move very easily. That, you can. So the grassy blocks, you can move around pretty e Oh, God. That guy fought me back. I'm getting embarrassed. Take that. Yes, we beat it. Sweet. All right. Um, so we get some rewards. And the Moon Temple, this is where we went to select our guy. Uh, for the challenges, uh, we completed the fundamentals. So we got 15 of this, like, blue flame currency. Moon Favor, a mystical currency you can spend at the shop. Sweet. Um, okay, we need to assign a ninja to this. So we'll put our dude back on there. And we need to complete level two and three of the training session. Cool. Oh, I gotta confirm it. There we go. So you have to lock in the challenge here. It's not just like it's always checking for challenges. You gotta lock it in, and then you get it, and then you can go back, and I can go back, and I can go to the shop. And what can I buy with 15? Um, I can buy a key. And I got a new feature called the Power Hut when leveling up your ninjas. Oh, okay, so you can, like, level them up and get more moves and stuff. All tutorials are now also unlocked. Sweet. Uh, so the temple says what? Power Hut. Okay. My dude's level zero. Um, I don't have any rewards. I, I don't have any of that energy. So I got to get that energy to level him up. And I assume, you know, as I complete more tutorial training... Uh, we can learn about the loop, the hyper attacks, red blocks, purple blocks, boob blocks. There's The game is, like, super well developed for just being a demo at this point, And all of the tutorial is here to help you understand how to play. So I think this game is super interesting. Um, and it, it gives you a feel of, like, Smash Brothers. But you can play this solo player against AI. Or this is, like, multiplayer insanity, I imagine. I'd love to know what you guys think of this game, seeing it just in this very brief glimpse of the tutorial, some of the explanations, the art style, the music, the feel of it. What's your takeaways from Ninza? Please leave those in the comments below. And uh, go ahead and check out the game on Steam. Put it on your wish list if you think this is interesting to help out the developers. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Take care.